Hi, I'm Rob Harris. I'm one of the founders of FentonTV.com and your host for the show, Five Minutes of Fame in Fenton, where I'll have the privilege of sitting down with various local people to find out what makes them tick, to find out why Fenton is so special to them and how they might serve their community. Before we get into the actual show, I want to take care of a little bit of housekeeping. If you'd like to appear on the show, please send me an email at ideas at fentontv.com. Let me know who you are, what you'd like to talk about, and we'll see if we can't make this happen. We're going to do 10 uh, premiere shows, absolutely free, after which we are going to ask for a $100 sitting fee just to help generate some revenue that we can pour back into the program and bring in more and better shows. So we are in the midst of uh, filming our first 10 premiere shows. Today's actually our inaugural show, and I am so happy to introduce a friend of ours to you, Supermom, uh, Tony Walrath. Thanks Thank for having me, Rob. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. So I know uh, you are a very busy mom. You've got two, two beautiful kids. Thank you. Um, beautiful daughters. I've got three. They like right. to hang around and play. They do. And uh, very impressed with uh, your organizational skills. Thank um, you. How does a busy mom stay organized? Well, one thing that I found, and maybe you find this at your house too, mm -hmm. Rob, that my girls have so many toys and toys, toys everywhere that it seems like no one plays with. They're just right. laying around and in the way. So one thing that I did was I started putting all of their toys in large plastic totes. Okay. We call them our bins, but yep. they're, they're the 18 gallon totes. And then I labeled them Monday through Friday. So every day of the week, we bring out a new bin, a fresh batch, a fresh, of toys. a fresh batch of toys. Which, if they were laying around the house, no one would be playing with. But it's like Christmas on Monday when the Monday bin oh, wow. comes out, and then we pick it up at night. And then, of course, Tuesday the Tuesday bin. But that seems to keep the excitement in their toys, in their old toys, okay. and also keeps the house a little cleaner and a little oh, picked up, nice. and the toy box a little emptier. Wow, that's a great idea. Thank you. I'm absolutely gonna have to try that. Thank you. Um, one thing I do, I. I talk to uh, my wife Jeannie about too is I don't I'm nervous about bins that are big enough for the kids to get in where oh, the, the sure. lid will go over that right so the toy bins you probably have them in the garage in the garage perfect yes, we All have right. them in the garage that solves uh that helps to solve that that problem <laughs> it does and a great idea Thank yeah you. Uh, the other the other difficulty that we have as uh, busy parents too is just trying to keep track of all the school stuff right projects and homework yes uh, events scheduling do you have good tips on organization? I do. What I have done is I've created a three ring binder that I put these plastic sleeves in that I can slip the events in and out of. Okay. So what I have in here what I, in the front would be anything that's currently the next event or coming up. So this has to do with the North Road fundraiser, mm -hmm. North Road family night uh, for movies this week. And then also for the other school, which is Wonderway, oh, I, I have those way. current mm -hmm. events in here as well. And then I have other things like their school menu for the month, also the telephone numbers to the schools and mm -hmm. the classrooms and any other information that is important for the school. And I keep that handy right in the kitchen so that if I need to grab it and find what's next or a phone number, it's right there for me. Real handy. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Anything else? Any other tips? Yeah, one other thing that I have found is helpful is I keep a pre-printed grocery list okay. handy for us with all of our staple items that we use on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. That way I'm not constantly writing out a full list and us women, we like lists, right? Okay, sure. <laughs> it's like kind of too. a girl thing, but yeah. anyway. So I have that with just a few extra spots to write in just what we need extra for the week that's not on the normal list. And I can just grab that and go to the grocery store and know what I need for the week. So just the basic staples of things that you're or that you're purchasing on a regular basis. Correct. You are, you, that's your starting point. That is. And then you just fill in whatever, I whatever do. else you need. And I just keep those printed and handy so that I can run to the grocery store and, okay. and go and not, hopefully not forget anything. Excellent. Yeah. Wonderful. That's a great tip. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but but for, for a lot of people, just the, the paper lists are so much easier. Right. Uh, right. To use and that the family knows where to go and and get to that list exactly then that makes it uh, a little easier right uh, I'm sure you probably do your grocery shopping a little bit different maybe than you know <laughs> than somebody like I do I know you live a, a very healthy lifestyle we try we try so I was just curious if you could 
share with us some uh, some tips on healthy eating and, and kind of encourage us a little bit more? Yeah, I'd be happy to. One thing that I feel is very important for myself and my family is eating raw foods, okay. which I know is a little bit difficult. It's so much easier to grab something that's in a package, uh, but raw food is so important. It's very low in calories, first mm-hmm. of all, which is good. Also, the high in fiber and very high in nutrients, okay. which I think the, a lot of our diets right now are lacking a little bit of mm-hmm. to get those nutrients in our bodies. Uh, raw foods are also going to help you feel fuller. Okay. So if you were to eat, say, a little bit of raw food, a, maybe a small salad like a steak or an tartar. apple. <laughs> no, <laughs> right. I'm kidding. No. You're not talking about a steak tartare. <laughs> you can eat the steak after the salad. Gotcha. If you, if you can get that salad in your system first, right. that's going to help you feel fill up a little faster, maybe not eat so much of the steak, and again, not consume quite so many calories. That sounds so that's fantastic. one thing that we try to do in our house, eat a lot of raw food. Great. Appreciate yeah. those tips very much. Thanks. Hey, I want to ask you too, did you like uh, Tony's tips? Because I'm trying to encourage her to maybe do a spinoff show. So give us lots of feedback. Say, hey, this was absolutely great. If you have questions for Tony right now, email them to uh, me at ideas at fentontv.com. And we'll kind of go from there. And I did have one other thing as another tip for trying to stay healthy with our calories. If we have just a minute. We do, yeah. And I brought a little prop with me too. You know, we all love it, right? Right? Yes. So anyway, just one more thing to be cautious about is drinking your calories. Mm -hmm. Let's say if you're trying to stay on a 1,500 to 2,000 calorie Mm -hmm. diet per day, which is about average. Mm -hmm. If you were to drink a 20 ounce Coke, there are 240 calories in one. 240, okay. 240, so let's say if you're drinking two pops or two Cokes a day, yeah. you're getting close to 500 calories just in your drinking. That's a whole meal. It's almost a whole meal. So, and if you're still eating a whole meal on top of drinking the pop, that's where our calories consumption seems to increase mm-hmm. and in turn the weight gain. And then I know some other drinks as well are like your Starbucks, I think some of the espressos, some of the lattes, some of the frozen coffee drinks can have up to 800, 1,000 calories. Mm -hmm. If you like some of those, they they need to be cut out as well. Right, nothing against Coca-Cola or Starbucks. Oh, no, no. We're just talking about the calorie count, just being aware. Exactly. It could be a 7-Up. It could be a Pepsi, whatever your vice is. My vice just happened to be Coke back in the day. There you go. (laughs) Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Tony. Oh, thanks for having me. Appreciate your time here. Thank you for tuning in to uh, our our inaugural show of five minutes of fame in Fenton where I think I'm going to enjoy saying hey Fenton give me five all right go out and have a great day take care Oh God, that's good.